Hello everyone and welcome to another midweek video message update. As always, I trust that this inquiry finds you safe, healthy, and well. What a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous day outside it is today. Currently 66 degrees at the Christ Lutheran Church parking lot and we're headed toward a forecast of 77 degrees in just a few hours into this afternoon. Had to be outside for this video message update and I want to take you for just a brief tour of the parking lot and share with you a few signs of spring. The first I want to show you are some tulips. I think I can get them into the picture. Tulips to greet us, a sure sign of spring, able to endure underground, the frozen ground, and then come up. And it was two or three weeks ago that they sprouted through the ground and then we had that 17 degree morning and i feared for our tulips but they made it they survived and they were in full bloom for our easter parking lot worship adding to the hope and the vibrancy of the gospel message that day the other thing that i want to show you today is one of our parking lot trees I want you to just be aware of and take note of all the blossoms, all the, the buds that will soon become leaves. Let me show them to you again very quickly. I imagine that there are signs of spring around you too, out your window in your yard, everywhere we look, signs of spring, signs of Easter, signs of new life. <clears throat> but I want to remind us today that Easter is much more than Jesus being raised from the dead. We have to remember that Jesus being raised from the dead or that rising from the dead, being raised from the dead was not a new thing. The prophet Elijah raised a little boy from life to death. And Jesus himself raised Lazarus from the dead. So Jesus being raised on Easter morning was not something new. What was new, or the significant part, the important part of Jesus being raised from the dead is what it means for the world since then and still means for the world today. More than Jesus triumphing over death and the sin and the grave, Christ's resurrection established forever a new kingdom and a new reality for God's world, promising to put it back in re right relationship. And when Jesus was raised from the dead, that enterprise was undertaken in a very visceral and experiential way. And so as we go about our lives, particularly in this Easter season, let us get caught up in what Easter really means. It's not just being raised to new life, but it's that new life that is made available to all people, that all people might participate and experience what it is that God through Christ Jesus has in store for the world. The prophet Isaiah in his 61st chapter says it this way, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in my God for he has clothed me Excuse the breeze for a moment. He has clothed me with garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. There is the Easter story, the new life. And then the prophet Isaiah continues, for as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden caused what is, is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord will cause righteousness and praise to spring up 
before all the nations. Friends and neighbors in Christ, let us remember that Easter is about more than Jesus being raised from the dead. Easter is about you being raised from the dead, the entire world being promised new life. And until then, God will continue to rain God's righteousness down on the world that all people might know hope and justice and peace and joy. It's good to be outside with you this week. Look forward to more video message updates outside through the spring and the summer. We'll see what the good Lord is up to until we meet again. Take care. God loves you. I love you. Enjoy this beautiful weather and remember that God is changing the world through you as you serve your neighbor. Bye-bye.